Hello again, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida with Allison visiting from away and we're going to work on a 12 by 12 inch canvas. Put some colors into that dish and after that I've already cheated and I've put a little bit of black paint around the edge of my canvas because that's the way I want to start. I'm going to start my usual way because it disappears and sometimes I get to keep it and use some Anita's white metallic. I'm going to use a little golden hour which is a pearlescent from Arteza. I'm going to use a little 24 karat gold with orange in it from Decor at Americana. I'm going to use a little folk art color shifting purple flash. A little chrysocolla from Color Art, which is a new prism pour. I like that combination. A little green gold color shifting from folk art. I want some blue today, and I have some Venetian blue with a lot of Anita's white metallic in it. I try to give myself a small enough container so that I wouldn't uh, waste too much paint. That is some emerald green color shifting folk art. This is a color I made up. I call this Velveeta. It will be joined by what I made it up out of, which is a Hobby Lobby brand. I am going to use a bunch of purple. This is an Arteza. I am reminded, my muse just whispered in my ear that I never use red and I need to. And I have a plug. I'll put that aside because I'm obviously going to have to deal with that after. I'm going to use a little bit of Prussian blue. And what else? Maybe, oh yeah, the hot orchid, my favorite. Yes, that's the ticket right there. That is another prison pour from Color Art. That is the bomb. Check that out. There's your little painting. I could zoom in on that and take a nice picture. Anyway, so let's add some black to the canvas. I have a couple of pieces of refuse. They are the equivalent of a shovel or a scoop. They probably came off some batteries, I think. I cut down the sides and cut off the end and this one I beveled down toward the edge. This one I did not. I'm going to see how much I like either one of those. But first, I'm going to give myself just enough paint to spread. Oh, I forgot my pink. I want some of that pink. Wait. <laughs> there, now I have some pink. This is my OXO omelet turning spatula. It's a flip and fold. Best paint spreading tool I know of. It's good to be able to get all the way to the edge, but it's looking a little bit like I'm going to have canvas showing, which I'm going to have to be conscious of. I'm going to try not to worry about it right now. This is usually my favorite stage, because this is the time I get to play with designs, but right now I just want it to cover. I'm going to give myself a little bit more. So this month's challenge in the Facebook group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, for students, that's my uh, my group on Facebook. The challenge is dustpan, shovel, scoop, anything goes. And this is anything. <laughs> so I'm going to take as much of that paint off the edge of the spatula as I can and just force it down onto the edge of the canvas and hope I can get away with that. Throw that in the bucket. Time to Usually I would like to pre-prime a canvas. So today I really wanted to take a smaller scoop to see what would happen. And I don't mind dribbling things either. I like having a turntable.
as you lift up and let the paint relax out of your tool, you can make some interesting patterns. I'm not sure how far it'll go, but I'm pretty sure it's going further because of the wet background I have. If I can just be patient enough to let it go, that's pretty cool. I like that. Try and grab it from a couple different locations. Funky. I wonder how far around I can get with that. It looks like I'm going to go for the whole circle. Wouldn't that be cool? I do sell my artwork, by the way. The email address is underneath the link tree, underneath the video. I also give classes, obviously, at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. It's like a bird of paradise. Really, it does. That's pretty cool. It's probably more paint than I need here. even be getting pretty close to being done. I think I'm going to use an edge catcher and let a little bit of that paint relax off and I might dribble the rest. Just going to help it just a little bit. Nudge it. Maybe I don't mind that, so what I'll do is I'll take Yeah, I'm quiet. I'm trying to trying to focus a little bit. That's some. Um, that's interesting. Oh, whoop! I tried to flip that up. I seldom go over one thing to another, but I just felt it was necessary there. Now I'm just filling in some space. It's like it's nice to have negative space, but sometimes it's just fun to do colored marks. Sometimes you have to stop dragging or you start to make mud. Getting somewhere, finally, maybe, hopefully. I'm going to do a little dribble.
If in doubt, dot it out. I always say, <laughs> I do like dots. I can't help it. Since I've got canvas showing on my edges of my canvas, I don't really mind covering that. That's pretty close to being done. I have colors left. Maybe I'll let Allison use them because they, otherwise they're going to become something else. I'm getting a little more brazen in my need to cross things over other things. It's hard to remember to lift up. I think I'm almost where I need to be, which is pretty cool. If you have too much paint in your dots, they will spread out and merge. I think that is pretty close to about as far as I need to go. Oh, my UPS delivery has finally arrived. Okay, I have enough paint in my container to fix my bottom. I used good part of it, but not all of it. I am going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint right after I add a few more dots. And hope they'll stay. They may sink. But I kind of like them <laughs> to not sink, I mean. Yup. Okay then. It's time to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. Tell you guys I have over 91. 91,600 subscribers and if you're new please be welcome if you're not new thank you for being here if you leave me lovely comments thank you so much for boosting my morale please don't stop ever <laughs> we can manage it if you are helping support the studio by donations and uh, in the monthly drawing there's always new artworks to be had for prizes in the monthly drawing and you can see the exhibition video that shares that information with you on the end screen of any video in the last 20 seconds. I want some orange. Where is it? Right there. Even upside down. I could tell I wanted that. <laughs> I could probably put more dots, but I think we're, you're, we're pretty well off. I kind of want to waggle something. I actually want one more thing to happen here. Don't ask me why. Hopefully I don't ruin anything cool. I don't think I hurt anything terribly. It has yet to be decided. Uh, it's not a vast improvement, but 
It'll be all right. It looks better now. So I'm going to try and zoom in so you guys can see that. And then I will, my edges are mostly covered, but I've got a little bit of black along my edges and I'll just squeeze bottle my way to happiness as far as that goes. Let me bring that back here. Oh, it still didn't come back. Wow. There we go. Let's zoom right in. So I love you guys. I hope you check out my Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, all on the link tree below the video. I said my email address was underneath the link tree, didn't I? My Amazon link is on the video. You can find the OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula there, and the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula is there too. And my two books, because I can, and unlimited possibilities. And if you shop there, it adds, it, uh, it's at no added cost to you and helps me out. There is one of my clean Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula tools. So what else should I tell you? I told you about Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. Teespring clothing is below the video, and it is all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts and so much more. Please ask me questions if you need answers, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you like my videos, you help me. If, when you share my videos, you're very helpful. When you watch them longer, it tells the YouTube algorithm that you like me. Your thumbs up, I really appreciate. Thank you so much for being here. I almost forgot to tell you there are over 1,800 videos, and if you're looking for them, you can find them on my YouTube channel, along with PayPal and Patreon icons in the lower right-hand corner, where if you make a donation, you will be automatically entered into the monthly drawing, which is at the end of the month. Um, I think that I've covered almost everything and whatever I haven't covered. Uh, oh yeah, pouring medium. My recipe is in the, in, uh, in the description underneath show more. So we will see you anon. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida with Allison saying goodbye. <laughs> Bye for now. Hope to see you soon. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves.